Well, good morning, everybody. We are in Farmington, Utah, right north of Salt Lake. Tonight, we rolled up here from Zion yesterday. Came up uh, Interstate 15, 89 to 70, Interstate 70, then over to 15. So, gracious enough, Cabela's allows us to stay in their uh, beautiful parking lot. Beautiful area right here. Uh, Lauren's, Laurel's already over uh, dumping. We're fixing to go dump. There's a dump station here and you can add water uh, if you'd like for five dollars. And the ladies went in, made some purchases in there. <clears throat> we needed some stuff and we wanted to thank Cabela's for letting us stay here. It's a very nice place. Halfway level spots here. So we're going to roll up, we're going to dump, and we're going to head to Jackson, Wyoming. We're going to try to find us a spot up in the Tetons today, up in the natural, nat, National Forest, because the Tetons and Yellowstone is opening up Monday, which I believe is about the 18th of May, 2020. I should say a reopening. So we're going to head that way. The weather's good. It'll be good for about three days and then the rain comes in so we're gonna make a mad dash for it so let's roll up and head out stop the madness start the adventure Well, we've made it to Jackson, Wyoming. There's the uh, Jackson Hole Airport. A jet's fixing to take off. Beautiful day. Really nice and sunny. Only 56 degrees, but nice and sunny. But we're gonna head up to uh, lower view, dispersed camping area. See if we can get a spot up there. We gotta find a place to uh, boondock for four or five days so this is highway 191 that's going north this will go up to moran and moose and then you'll turn left to go into the national park which literally we are in the national park right now but going through the gates you got to go the other way so what do you think kim it's been a long time not been here a well, lot's changed though. Yep. Oh. Roundabouts. And <laughs> yep. They put a roundabout in there where you go to the Grovant campground. They've got all this blacktop deal. Uh, all the uh, young folks are out there biking and rollerblading and roller skiing or whatever you want to call it. Yep. So they're making a lot of improvements here. So let's go see if we can find us a place to camp, babe. Let's go. Yeah, baby, we made it. Made it to the Tetons. Made it to the uh, National Forest land that's here. This is on your uh, Camp Pendium. See which way the wind's coming from. I'm gonna have to block it. Um, this is the lower Teton view. And that's the road that goes to upper. And as you can see, it's still closed stay here for five days after May 1st through Labor Day. Five days only. Have to camp in designated campgrounds. And there's a few back down in there. Maybe we'll get a couple in there, but you might start squeezing some people. But we're set up here. Gonna have a little happy hour. It's pretty unlevel in some of these spots, so make sure you got leveling blocks. We're all set up here. I think elevation is like 5,500, 5,600 feet. There's Laurel over there in her arrow stream. Of course, my sister. And we right in here. Some days here. Good morning, everybody. Our first morning at Topping Springs, lower elevation uh, campground area dispersed camping and really it's uh, 
I guess you would say it's not dispersed because there's actual areas that you have to camp at that are designated. But it's not too bad in here. We had a school bus come in last night. About 10 o'clock, not too bad. Found a place. And another van. But uh, there's old Grand Teton right there, the tallest one. But Bentley and I, we just out going for our morning walk. He's ready to go. 36 degrees this morning. Not too shabby. Turn the old furnace on this morning, get everything warm. But uh, we're just gonna have a nice casual day. I think I'm gonna get a few things done here in the RV and I think the ladies are going to uh, going to Jackson and do the tourist things. I've been to Jackson a few times, so I'm not really too worried about doing the tourist thing, so I may stay here, watch my NASCAR race. It's the first one that's gonna be back on live. So that'll be good and do a little editing, get some more videos up. There's the old little schoolie right there. Back name is Bueller. Be surprised how many people out here are staying in their cars. Yeah, I've been noticing it over the years, it's just more and more. A little lady right there in that one. Uh, I mean, uh, in that white car, there's a young lady in there with her little dog. That white van came in last night. So it's not too bad. This is our little camping area up here, right the last spot before you go up to uh, the upper view and it's closed because the world's washed out and they just haven't opened it yet for whatever reason. We're going to go in and get some breakfast and we'll catch up with you later. Well, this is what it looked like. Day one of the reopening of Yellowstone in the Grand Teton National Park, May 18th, 2020. They're not opening the gates till noon, which makes no sense, but at least they're opening them. But uh, it's backed up all the way down to the highway and then some. So we're going to wait in line. We've got about an hour's wait, but we'll wait. And we're going to go in there and have a good time. We're going to go all the way to Yellowstone today since it's closer. I mean farther away and the weather's good today. So we'll try that. So let's go. Well, our first stop is at Coulter Bay. Uh, this is the first chance to get uh, fuel in here at uh, Tetons. And as you can see, there's still snow here and plenty of it. We just came up the road, there was a black bear up there, but it was too far off in the distance. So we couldn't have got a, a shot of it. But we stopped at the Phillips 66 station here in Coulter Bay thinking that, well, it's gonna be pretty expensive for fuel. But believe it or not, fuel is only a dollar 97 cents. Diesel fuel is cheaper than regular gas. So that's a good thing to know. And this is as of May 18, 2020. But it's a nice little store. They got bathrooms here. It's your first bathroom break that you can get uh, this time of year because the other parks, places down below are closed. So we're gonna get going and get back down the road and get into Yellowstone. And hopefully we'll have a lot more to see. We can always come back here tomorrow. Good Lord willing. You ready to go, Kim? All right, well, here we are at Old Faithful. And check out the crowd. Unbelievable. Somebody left a little present. But a uh, few people sitting out here waiting. I have no idea when it's gonna go off because they don't have anything listed because the visitor center's closed. So we'll just have to sit here till it does.